Hello everyone, welcome back to Fall Tolerant Tutorials. Today's video I'm going to show you how to set up this Node ESP8266 Node MCU module onto your Arduino projects. ESP8266 Node MCU is a low cost and versatile microcontroller development board based on the ESP8266 Wi Fi module. These are designed to simplify IoT and Wi-Fi related project, making it easier for the developers to create and uh, to create connected devices. They feature this CH340 USB to serial interface for easy programming and debugging. As well as it has got a lot of GPIOs for connecting your sensors and actuators and other peripherals. This board can be easily programmed using Arduino IDE and it is well suited for applications such as home automation, remote sensing and IoT prototyping. Along with this one I want to introduce you this guy. 0.96 inch OLED. These are known for their vibrant sharp image and quality as each pixel its own uh, its own light allowing for deep black and vivid colors these are chinese the one which i have is a chinese brand so i'm gonna show you how to set this thing up along with your node mcu before getting into the details uh, there are some preliminary checks which we need to do first thing is that we have to go to this website and install the device driver for the CH340 chip remember this CH340 chip is the one which is connecting our computer with this device through a USB serial communication in order to identify this chip we have to install this device driver so we can go download the driver from here unzip the file and run the installer which you have unzipped after unzipping you will be able to detect our ESP8266, I call it as Node MCU here and horns forward as a USB device. As I mentioned before, after installing the device driver software, uh, you can connect your ESP8266 with a USB cable onto your USB port of your computer. And then you can see here on the ports, COM ports. I have this device connected USB serial CH340 on COM number 6. Now if I open my IDE, first thing we need to do is to add our development board into our IDE. So go to File, Preferences and here there is an open source uh, package for the ESP8266 libraries you need to add this one here in the additional boards manager URL this, this uh, URL I will provide it in the description you can copy it from there and once you copy paste here plus OK and then go to tools board board manager and search for 8266 you will be able to see this uh, package and you have to install it since I have already installed it you select the latest version and install it since I have already installed it I don't need to install it again so I'm gonna keep it as it is and if it is installed you should be able to see your uh, one second you should be able to see your board here in the menu here tools board and ESP8266 so once you go here then you can select node MCU on the latest version MCU 1.0 ESP 12E module select this one in order to test you can open any examples from ESP8266 so I'll use this uh, blink it will open the project in a new window 
I will just adjust the time to make it bling little fast and then verify and then upload okay the uploading is failed because I didn't mention the port so probably we have to go and configure the port here try again yes it is connected and it's uploading the program into the module and done now it's blinking and done now it's blinking so I'll show you the video uh, I, which I shot in my GoPro in a small section here So this is basically my setup. I just molded everything into a PCB. I will show you this wiring on the screen. Once we have successfully established the communication between the node MCU and your system and you are able to upload the program you are ready to go dive deep into the programming side of this OLED how to configure this OLED so basically first thing we need to connect the pins corresponding to the SCK and SDA to any one of the digital inputs of your digital output DO pins of your node MCU so I choose D1 and D2 as the data pins and I will use the ground from the ground pin here on the node MCU and also 3 volt power supply for the OLED from the pin on the node MCU so I don't need uh, additional power supply for this OLED it will take only small current so it's perfectly fine to tap it from the node MCU itself alright guys uh, once we have physically installed the cables and everything uh, connected uh, OLED with the node MCU we need to go download the Adafruit OLED library for this uh, OLED so we can go directly to their website and we need to look for these two libraries so we'll open the Arduino IDE go to manage libraries and look for SSD and make sure Adafruit 1306 is installed already for me it's already installed so once it is installed then you can go file examples and look for the example under 1306 and choose this option 1306 i2c 128x64 i2c the exa example program will open in a new window here here you see uh, there is something we need to change uh, I'm using 128 by 32 so I have to use this as the starting bit address so I'll use instead of 3d I will use 3c and then compile and download it's a uh, pretty straightforward It may take a few minutes meanwhile uh, I will show you my screen
yes it's loaded you can see the Adafruit logo and it's going through all the functions which is uh, described in the program so it basically show different examples of drawing the lines squares circles everything as per the instruction given in the program so we'll not be using all these uh, we can use a couple of them but we'll be using only a text based uh, user interface for this output monitor all right let's get to the next part all right now since we have the libraries already available with us so we just need to copy paste the examples and codes inside uh, for our project all right so I'll start with a blank project new I'll clear it empty screen and I will start uh, copying the required libraries for us for for example we need all these libraries we'll copy all this here all right and we will define the screen length with everything here all right done and we'll copy this uh, this header also let's see after that uh, we'll start the program which I have coded here before I will explain you one by one through the line all right so this is basically we are setting up the Uh, once again we have to change the address here address bit here 3c all right so this is our board rate for a serial port it will keep it as maximum as possible and once if the screen is ready this is checking when the screen is ready or not if it is ready you will give a two second delay and this function will clear the display if anything is there uh, in the display it will clear uh, in fact um, this uh, OLED is just like a memory buffer, memory uh, variable. So every time we have to, we will load the memory with some data. It will display on the screen. So if you want to clear the data, we want to clean the screen. We have to clear the data on the buffer. So every time we call this function, it will clear the display. Okay, to clear the clear the display. And this will define the size of the text and the color of the text and this will set the cursor point starting point of the cursor we want to use from the first point on the cursor and we will print the text hello world and display all right let's compile this one and check it looks fine i'm going to load the program at the same time I will record the screen as well using my GoPro so you can see the program from the previous example is still running in the node MCU and it is displaying the screen now it is loading now the program is loading into the node MCU hundred percentage done you can see the hello world there so this is how you display text messages on the screen okay guys uh, one more point which I would like to add here is I made some modification in this program so this step void setup is actually um, 
initialization after this is run when the program is loaded this will be run these steps will be executed one time and after that it will go to the word loop so what basically this program is is doing is to try to un, uh, let you understand this is how it is working these steps will be loaded into one one time that means there will be a two second delay and clear the display and set the text size to one and color to white and go to the cursor 0 10 and display the message loading and uh, print the message loading into the buffer and then display once it is executed one time then it will go into this word loop this will be continuously looping as long as when the program is uh, when the power is on once it is in loop you can see uh, I given a delay then it will clear the display it will go to the cursor and again display this hello world then again uh, I'm giving a two second delay and after that it will clear the display set the cursor 0 10 and it will say it will display system is running so these two steps will be hello world and system will be uh, system is running will be executed over and over again inside this word loop so you can see this display coming and going as seen in the camera here so every time if you want to display a message you have to set these four steps are required you need to clear the display if you want otherwise you can set the cursor it is always recommended to clear the display why because otherwise the buffer will overwrite and the characters will be overlapped onto the previous message so it is always suggested to clear the display and set the cursor where you want to display the message then print a length that message and then call this function for display you can put a delay before or after 